Okay, we're going to be doing a take apart video of a Sigler SGN limited edition matte black and green. Here's a close up. Full metal body. The only thing plastic is this little button here where my finger is pointing. That's just plastic, but that's okay. Made in the USA and in West Virginia. This is number 36 on the serial number range, so this is quite low. Or maybe one of the very few reels that are matte black and green. I'm not sure how many have been made. But anyways, let's get into it. Let's get the clicker going first. The clicker is a little soft, which is nice. Also, it's good for palming. You can kind of palm it with your hand. It's great when I'm fishing. Okay, first we're going to move the screw. I believe this is Loctited. We're getting our uh, metric Allen key set. I believe it's a 5 mil or a 4 mil. It is a 2.5, I believe. Yeah, it looks like they used red Loctite. Put that side. Kind of see here. A little tight. Kind of rock it back and forth. Okay, just walk it out slowly. It's a tight fit. I don't want to use any screwdrivers, I don't want to scratch the uh, the matte block. It's coming, you can see it's very tight fit. Okay, here it comes. So you can see they have a little shoulder, recessed shoulder. Okay, let's next do the screws on the back. Everything on the seal reel is uh, aluminum or stainless steel, which is nice. Okay, next is these screws. I believe it's the same wrench, which it is. I believe it's a 2.5 mil wrench. Not too tight, but Okay, now it's with screws. I think that's about it. Very uh, tight tolerance reel. Yeah, there you go. Okay, 
Okay. So here is the clicker assembly. It's a dual spring design. That's how that engages. Very simple. That side. So here is the clicker assembly. Next, we're going to be moving the uh, screw here. I believe it's clockwise. All I like to do is palm, like put this on your palm of your hand, put your fingers on there so that no springs or anything will fall out. Okay, so we have plastic uh, little pins right here that correspond with this brass plate. Carefully remove the spring. So by the way, the flat goes down and the open goes on the top. Next is the bridge assembly. Remove that carefully. It appears that we have a plastic washer and a brass little ring of little dimples on there. I'm not sure you can see that. Next, just slide it off. Just like that. Okay, that side. So here is the pressure plate. Pressure plate looks like, uh, okay. So the pressure plate and the gear is one. I'm not sure that's pressed in or not, but I don't want to force that. So next we have a bearing with a plastic washer. I believe that is inserted. It's got a plastic screwdriver here and uh, or a little tweezers. So the way this goes is that this little plastic shoulder faces in. Oops. Let's try to pop that out very gently. It's only plastic, don't force it. Okay, so you can see that. So that little shoulder fits in here. Got a bearing that side. You got a spring. Next, we're going to slide the spool out. Then we have our, I believe this is a ceramic bearing. that side. Next is we're going to get our tweezers and push the second bearing out. Here's that secondary bearing. Okay, there's a clicker, here's a drag washer. Uh, this is appears to be a carbon fiber drag washer. We're going to remove that pair of tweezers, we're going to find the split. Very gently. So here is the retaining ring for the drag washer. Next we're going to get some tweezers and pry it out. Very gently. like that. Don't force it. Doesn't want to come out. There we go. So this one is very similar to the uh, the Accurate or that uh, CamCon reel I took apart. It has these little loaves and those loaves keep it from twisting around. So most of these reels are very similar, not quite. This is only a single-sided drag washer. The previous reels I did had drag washers on both sides, which is not the case, it's only a single drag 
on the one side and that's it that's all you get very heavy duty built we're going to move this next look for the split i do a nice like the tilt in an angle and see where the the split is yeah there it is right there so we're gonna get our tweezers in there Just like that, pop it out and gently work it out. I'm gonna get my thumbs or my finger in there or something like that. Try not to bend the wire too much. Just gently walk it out. That's all you gotta do is just walk it out slowly. Try not to bend it. It's uh, hard and stainless, I believe. So this is the secondary retaining ring for the a clicker assembly. Now comes a clicker assembly with those loaves. So if you were to have a worn one, is that C-clip keeps it in place. It has four lobes to keep it in place. No wear because I don't really fish the clicker too much. And that's it. That is the spool assembly. Very well designed. Moving on to the uh, gear side. This is a stainless steel main gear. We're going to show you how the entry reverse works. So we're going to cup her hand just in case there's any springs. Push with the pointer finger. I want to get a pair of pliers maybe. Just like that. Okay, that's how that works. So uh, we have